So these are assembly instructions to my photo kiosk. So there are meant to be two of these stacked on top of one of the other, and they go together pretty much the same way. So I'm just going to show you how to put together one of them. I'm going to start with the little pink drawers that go inside. I'm folding down on the score lines, and there's two rows of them on the top and at the bottom. And then there are the vertical score lines, so the one that creates the tab at the end, and then the three others. I'm going to flip my piece over. I'm looking at the interior of my box. So I'm just rotating it 90 degrees and I'm going to glue down three of these flaps that are at the top. Just putting glue all along that flap and then just going in with my bone folder and spreading that glue. So for now I'm leaving that last flap as it is. I'm going to Turn my piece over so I'm looking at the right side again. Now I have these pieces to decorate the outside of my box. I have a full rectangle with a decorative layer that goes on top of it. And then I have a rectangle with a notch out of it and the decorative layer that matches up with it. For the box that I'm working on, I have four of each. So I'm just gonna glue my filigree layer down to its base. I'm going to glue down my embellishment pieces. So after the first score line, I have my filigree panel and I'm just gluing it down. I'm trying to keep an even border all the way around my piece. I'm going to glue down the second piece, trying to keep that even border all the way around. So then I'm going to put glue on that tab that's at the side. So I'm pulling my other end under and then just gluing that cut edge of the other end to the score line of the tab, like so. And then I have that flap. The reason why I waited before gluing it down so that I could hide the join. So I'm just putting glue all over it. I'm positioning my box back and forth as I push that flap down. And then I'm going in there with my bone folder and spreading all that glue. So now I'm looking at the bottom of my box and I have those three tabs. I'm just putting glue all over those three tabs. And then I'm folding my bottom down and making sure that those cut edges of my bottom have to follow the score lines of the tabs. And then I'm going to flip my piece around and I'm just going in there with my bone folder and I'm just spreading all that glue, making sure that my tabs are glued down nicely. So this is box one, box two, and I have to make four of these for each level. So now I'm going to work on those white cases in the drawers. I have four of these pieces. I've cut these out of Cricut craft board and I'm just folding down on all the score lines. So I'm taking my first piece, I'm unfolding it, I'm taking my second one. So this is how I want to glue them together. I've got the center piece here, it's a full rectangle, and then I have this piece. It's cut on three sides and only attached to the piece on one side. I want to glue it like so. So I've got a bottom piece, a full bottom piece here, and a full bottom piece here, and I'm gluing them together like so. I'm just gonna put glue on the cut edge of that piece. I have my tab on my right hand side, I have my flap on the top, and I'm just putting glue on that rectangle that has its three sides free. The tab on this piece is towards me, the tab on this piece towards my right hand side and it's at a 90 degree from the other one. So I'm just joining those two rectangles together and what I want to do is be very specific about putting the cut edge right along that score line of the other piece. The edges are flush here, this edge is right against the score line of my tab and if I flip it over the bottom is even as well. So next we're going to do the same with the next piece. I have my piece with the tab towards me. So I've got this part and I'm putting glue on the rectangle that's only attached on one side. And I'm gluing it to that piece that has the tab. And again, I'm being very careful. So I'm going to put in the last piece. So I'm putting glue on that panel that is attached only on one edge. And then I'm gluing it to that panel that has the tab. And again, I have my tab here. So we've done three of them. 
And now there's just the final one to do. I'm just putting glue all over that rectangle and I'm gluing it to the panel right beside it. They're basically the same, except these have the flaps that are still kind of free, whereas these are already glued down. I'm taking this Beacon 3-in-1. I wanted to use this glue because it gives me a little more wiggle room, a little more time to adhere things properly. So I've just covered the entire surface with glue. If this was your first level, you would just be taking a plain octagon and you would be placing the octagon over your glued surface and trying to center it. But because this is the second level for me, I'm gonna glue it directly onto my first layer, my first level. I want my tabs to be on top of one another. By pulling out my drawer, I know that the tab is here. So I want to make sure that I place one of my tabs over that one. It doesn't quite reach the edge on all sides. I want the points to match up as much as possible. I'm going from both sides and I'm pushing in that center and making sure that my base layer is nice and flat. I'm going in with my bone folder and I'm spreading all that glue. Look inside, I want these walls to be right against the cut edge. So this tab on the side becomes the hinge for my box. So, but before I glue it in, I want to shape my hinge a little bit just so that it curves in, which just makes the hinge mechanism work better. I'm putting glue all over that hinge. Then I'm placing my piece so that so the hole is away from me. I'm placing my box down on the hinge, pushing my box inwards. And then I'm going to pull it out again. I'm applying pressure right at the join between the tab and my box, just to make sure that there's a good join there between my hinge piece and the box. And then I'm pushing my box back into its housing. And I'm just going to glue all four of my boxes in the exact same way. So now that I have all my drawers installed, I have that last octagon to glue on the top. I'm putting glue all over those top pieces and then I'm taking my octagon piece and I'm laying it on top. So as I'm gluing the octagon down, I want to make sure that the points of the three octagons and of the walls all coincide. So next I'm going to work on the little pedestal for my drawer unit. So I have the center octagon I've folded down on all the score lines. I've got a score line on each side of my edge pieces. And I'm folding down on all eight of them. Then I'm putting glue all over that shape. It looks a little bit like a upside down Christmas tree. I'm gluing the cut line of my edge piece to the score line of that tab. And I'm going around all eight sides doing the exact same thing, just gluing those pieces together. So then I have the decorative pieces for the little legs for my platform. They each need to be folded in half. There's a score line in the center. And then I'm putting glue on the underside. I want approximately an even border all the way around. And then I have my contrasting piece. The curved side goes downwards and it just gets glued on top. And you're going to decorate all eight of them the exact same way. I wanted to make sure that if anything heavy was put in my kiosk that this pedestal could withstand the weight. So I've created this little box and I'm just pulling down on the score lines that form the center octagon. And then the score line at the edge that forms the tab. And then a little triangle on the side. So I'm just going to do that for all eight sides. So next I'm going to put glue on each one of these triangles and I'm going to glue them down to the panel that's right beside them. I want the cut line of the neighboring rectangle to be right against the score line of the tab. And I'm going to go around the perimeter and I'm going to do that for all eight sides. So now I have these structural pieces. Two of them are slightly longer than the four others. So for the two long ones, I'm just going to lower one into the cutout of the other one to form a plus. I'm going to put two others on each side of that center panel. Then I'm going to flip my piece around and I'm going to do that for the other one as well. So one on the top, one on the bottom and just lower them down. Now I made this out of craft board because I wanted it to be super sturdy. I'm folding my tabs away from the center temporarily. 
and then I'm positioning one tab at the top and one tab at the bottom. Then you want to take your grid piece and just lower it down inside. And you want to fold all those tabs back inwards like so. So this becomes a nice solid structural piece. And I'm putting glue on all eight of those tabs. I'm placing my solid octagon right on top, pushing my corners in, make sure they, they match up properly. So next I'm going to work on the next level of my kiosk, which is the photo frame layer. And I cut it out of 80 pound card stock. There's two pieces for it, and I'm just folding down on all the score lines. And then I have my layer of acetate and my decorative pieces. I have four of these frames, so I'm gonna flip them over so that I'm looking at the underside. I'm just putting double-sided tape all along the perimeter. This is Cricut acetate, and it has a protective liner on both sides. I'm just making sure to remove it on both sides. Then I'm removing the backing on my double-sided tape. And then I'm positioning my acetate so that it's more or less centered. And then I'm putting another layer of double-sided tape around the perimeter. Now you could use glue here, um, but with glue and acetate, you have to make sure that the glue dries completely. So it's a little more time consuming and it's a tiny bit messier as well. Then I'm flipping my piece over. Now I have this frame that I'm just going to glue to the front of it. And this is foil craft board. I'm trying to center it as much as I can. I'm going to remove the liner from that second layer of double-sided tape. Place this over the opening, trying to maintain an even border all the way around. I have four openings like that. I've already done one. I'm just going to work on the three others. Now that I've decorated my panels, I'm going to put glue on the tab. I'm just joining the other piece at that tab. So I want the top and the bottom to be even. And I want the cut edge of this panel to be right up against the score line of my tab. So next I'm going to put glue all along the tab that's on my right hand side. I'm going to fold my bottom upwards. So the bottom cut edge of this panel is right up against the score line of the tab. I'm just going to go in there with my bone folder and I'm going to spread that glue. I'm putting glue on the next tab over and joining that side. Then I'm putting glue on the third tab and I'm putting glue on that side tab. I'm going to tuck the side tab in so that it's right under that frame. So I want the cut edge to be right up against that score line on the bottom and on the side. So next I'm assembling the box that goes inside of my photo frame box. The assembly of the box is exactly the same as the photo frame box. There's just no extra decorations or acetate. I'm holding down on all the score lines just like it did for the other pieces and there's two of these. Now you'll notice there's some score lines on four of the panels. So these just serve as guides to show you where to adhere your photos so that they're centered within the frames. I'm just putting glue all over this tab and then joining my two pieces together and then putting glue on the tab that's at the bottom here, joining this side panel. So I'm just working away around that bottom square and adhering my sides to the tabs. So I'm just putting glue on the last tab on the bottom. I'm also putting glue on that side tab, tucking that into under the side, like so. So this is the box that fits inside. So this is my roof piece, and I'm just folding down on all the score lines. Using my Cricut Extra Large Scraper, that helps me find those score lines. So next I have the embellishments for my rooftop. So I have these triangles, and then I have these triangles cut out of foil craft board, and they have some filigree cut out of them. So I'm just gonna glue these layers together. Now that I've glued both layers together, I'm just going to glue each one of them on the eight triangles that form the roof. So now I have these two pieces. They look like four little sailboats. I'm folding down on those score lines for those four triangles, holding on that center score line and on the score line for the tab. I'm going to do that with the other piece as well, exactly the same way. I'm going to put glue on one of the tabs and join my pieces together. I have those triangles facing upwards for both pieces. Then I'm flipping my piece over. I'm putting glue on that tab, 
bring the other side over and gluing the cut line to the score line of the top. Next, I'm going to grab my roof piece and I'm putting glue all over that side tab. I'm putting the cut edge of this triangle right up to the score line of the tab. I'm going in with my bone folder and just pressing in that glue. I'm going to put glue all over the triangles, so nothing on the band, just on the triangles, all eight of them. So I've flipped my rooftop over and I'm just lowering my piece right into my rooftop. I want the four corners of my square to be right at the square line. And then I'm just pushing down on those triangles like so. So now, so my box fits inside like so. So now I'm at the point where I'm assembling everything together. I'm going to put glue all around the perimeter of my support piece. And I'm gluing that on the underside of my pedestal, like so. I'm centering it as much as I can. And then I have my layer with all the drawers. I'm going to take my beacon 3-in-1 again, and I'm putting glue on the underside of that layer. And I'm adhering it to my pedestal piece, and I want the edges to be exactly even, so the points have to match up. So that's my drawer piece glued down. Then I have my next piece, which is a decorative piece. It also has a score line in the center that's going to help to guide me on the next layer. But I'd like to add some embellishments to it. So I have these triangles in the cream color. And then again, that foil craft board to go on top. I'm going to glue these two layers together and then glue all four of them down in a square formation on my octagon piece. I've adhered those embellishment pieces on my panel, and then I'm gonna glue this panel down to the top of my kiosk. I wanna make sure that I want this triangle to cover one of the drawers, like so. So I don't want it so that it's half over the drawer. So I want it over it, like so. And then I'm just placing it and trying to center it as best I can. So next I have my acetate cube. I'm just putting glue on the bottom of my cube and I'm just fitting it within the score lines that are on that decorative base. And then I have my photo cube. The roof fits on top of it and then the whole cube fits inside the box. For my photo cube, my photos are two and a half inches square. So there's an adhesive backed metal strip on the underside of my photo. And I've placed my photo inside the score lines that are on my cube. And then I've taken a magnet and put it inside my box to hold my photos in place. So these are just temporary photos I've put in place anyways. But you could actually do that and keep rotating your photos and keep your extra photos inside the box. And then I have my roof and then this entire cube goes inside my box like so. I'm going to put a piece of Velcro in the center and a matching piece of Velcro in the center of my cube. And that will keep everything in place, but still removable. And that's my photo kiosk. And one tiny little detail I almost forgot. I have these little off-white semicircles to put all around the perimeter on the awning of my little roof. So I'm just going to glue those on.